Terra Viva, a checkup on the environment. Here in the Gulf of Aqaba on the Jordanian coast, the tourist industry has boomed. The coastline of Jordan is only 27 kilometers long, and it's crammed with ports, industrial sites, hotels, and factories. All this development, however, is damaging the marine environment, which is why the Royal Marine Conservation Society are working to protect it. Aqaba is in a special economic zone, we are, and we are trying to bring more investment. We expect to have 12,000 rooms within two years. It's boom time for construction in Aqaba. We are trying to uh, reach an agreement with the tourists, with the dive centers, with the uh, authorities in Aqaba, how to have this facility as uh, clean as possible and as healthy as possible. Good morning. Good morning. Excellent. OK. We are doing three little activities at the same time. Regular clean-up dives use professional divers assisted by people from dive centers and students who are trained in schools. They literally dive down to the sea, collect all the rubbish they find there and put it into nets so it can be hauled ashore. The aim is also to raise awareness. We are, we are helping the coral and uh, the coral lives. Last year, in just one clean-up dive, around half a tonne of rubbish was collected in 30 minutes. Experts are monitoring the quantities and types of rubbish collected. Today we have uh, fished a lot of plastic bags and the plastic containers, in addition to a lot of garbage. We had around 35 divers doing this dive with around 15 to 20 uh, different uh, garbage bags collected from the sea. The Gulf of Aqaba is a fragile ecosystem, home to around 500 species of coral. One of the ways of preventing further damage is planting marine coral in man-made coral beds. I'm going to be planting these corals under the water at around 10 meter depth, at our, over here at 10 meters. The coral is propagated in these coral nurseries and then planted out into man-made reefs made of variously shaped cement blocks. Coral grows at a rate of around one centimetre a year, so this is a long-term project. The aim is to create new coral gardens which will reduce pressure on natural reefs from tourism, industry and shipping. We can reduce this pressure, we can attract people to come and see the artificial reef projects we, we use. And at the same time, we build the artificial reef projects on sandy areas so that we increase the coral reef in the Gulf of Aqaba. The environment, with the need to develop tourism and other industries in the area, is not easy. But it is vital for everyone's benefit.